quick video here on Habs fans. Now, these are the fans in all of sports that I hate the most. There's some other contenders out there, like bandwagon Miami Heat fans. You know, don't really like a lot of Philadelphia fans. Don't like a lot of New York fans. But Montreal Canadiens fans, you are a different breed of asshole. Say your team is playing the Canadians and you're beating the piss out of them about five nothing, six nothing. All they have to say to you in response is, "Look at all of our cups. Look at all of our tradition. We have Red Rocket Richard. Oh, guess what? You motherfuckers have a lot of cups. You do. But you also had some cheap shit going on. Now." Every time a team plays in Montreal, it's a common perception that the refereeing is a little off because the fans are on you. It's, it's the fucking glory of Montreal, whatever that crap. They seem to get a lot of calls at home. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. You guys also used to get the first draft pick of every French-Canadian player in the past. Now, put that in another sport and say a team, say the, say the goddamn Charlotte Bobcats got the first pick every year of every black player. They would win every championship there is to win. It is not a fair system that existed back in the day when you got a lot of those cups. You guys had Rocket Richard. You guys had all these damn players. After you win championships, you still get the first pick? The fuck is that? Like, no shit you're going to win. Congratulations. You won some real cups, too. I'm not saying that, but just cut it out with the elitist shit. It's annoying. Another annoying thing about your fan base is I was at a playoff game. I think the Canadians were the one seed that year. The Bruins were the eight seed. We won that game. But I remember you all, before the game, I was down there a little early, you know, just checking out the atmosphere. And you all gather up in the street like it's a big cult or some, some English soccer type crap. You all gather in the street and you fucking parade around, you know, chanting some French crap. You can smell you guys from a mile away. You haven't had a shower in the past fucking year. You're too busy watching highlights of fucking Ken Dryden or some shit. Can't get some soap in that goddamn country. That's besides the point. Don't come into other people's cities and be obnoxious. You know, come and enjoy the game. Root for your team. Whatever. But don't parade around if there's some fucking rock show coming into town because no one gives a shit. You know, no one's scared of your fucking team. So just cut that we're the best no matter what our record is, we're always the best type crap. Now every team has some players that you don't like. You know, you got some cheap players. Bruins, we got some cheap players. I'm not saying you have you know, all the cheap players in the league. But you have, in general, the softest, whiniest, diving, you know, faking shit type, complaining ass team there is. I remember Mike Ribeiro. I don't know. I don't, I don't remember what team. When he was on the Canadians, I don't remember what team they were playing in this game. But, you know, he got high stick, maybe, you know, it was hooked, whatever. He went down on the ice like he just got knocked down by the D.C. sniper. He's convulsing and shit. You know, it's bring the trainers out, bring the, bring the stretcher out. You know, once the penalty is assessed, this guy gets up. He goes over to that team's bench and he starts laughing. Come get me. And then he just, you know, he skates to his bench. 
So he's obviously faking, and he's obviously a rat bastard. Now, Mike Ribeiro's not on the Canadians anymore, but you guys keep pumping that shit out. Year after year, you got whiny-ass, you got P.K. Subban, good player, whiny-ass bitch. You got Mike Commissaric back in the day. What a pussy. You know, you got all these little midget ass. Don't do shit but skate around and dive. Like Jonta, like Packeretti. Fucking bunch of just good players, but. Oh, fuck. You know, it's just like. Just get the hell out of here with your diving ass shit. You guys didn't invent the game. You're having a good season, but you're not the best team. You're not always the best team. You're not God's gift to this fucking league. There are other teams that exist. There are other fan bases that exist. I'm sick of when I'm a fan of another team, the Bruins, being called a bandwagon fan. I was not a bandwagon fan. There were plenty of Bruins fans... They are not bandwagon fans. Any team, when they win a championship, they get some bandwagon fans. But don't go calling our whole fan base, you know, bandwagon fans. You're the only real fans. No one comes into our building. Do that gay shit where you light up the ice with your stupid flame like it's the fucking Olympics. It's not the Olympics. You're one of 30 teams. Cut that shit out. See you all in the playoffs. Fuck you. Go Bruins. Fuck Habs fans. If I could take a piss or a shit on one place in this whole world, the first place I'll go maybe would be some terrorist cell. Take a big shit there and have them sniff that shit up and get the aroma flowing. The second place would be the the Bell Center followed by Yankee Stadium. I'd like to leave a nice steamer for y'all at the Bell Center. A nice Boston steamer. See how y'all like that. So fuck y'all.